Hi viewers, this is Grant Harris 1987. You may remember me from Battlefront 2 and Battlefront 1 on YouTube. Today I'm just doing a quick little video on these um, couple of special books that I've got. One is the Jedi Handbook or the Jedi Path. It has a list of uh, Jedi Masters who owned it. This book goes back to 1000 BBY which is before the Battle of Yavin. Inside we have a little map of the Jedi Temple, a cloth which Obi-Wan used to do his um, new lightsaber, which Luke eventually used. By the way, this was discovered by Luke in um, Obi-Wan's hut. A Jedi token. A flight badge for Jedi pilots. And a lock of braided Padawan hair, I believe, would be Obi-Wan Kenobi's. On to the next one. This one is a Sith holocron-based case. Inside we have a... I love that laugh. We have a book which was... Um, that has several pages that have been recovered. The texture and size... The Republic will never know, or the Rebels will never know, courtesy of Luke. He was fortunate enough that he was able to salvage this from the remains of um, the Death Star before it blew. This book was also in possession of Darth Vader, I believe. It's got pages and paragraphs from Sidious and notable Sith Lords and Dark Side users, such as Mother Towson and so forth. It even explains a bit about the... Mandalorian War. We have a poster of the ugly bastard himself, Palpatine. We have a piece of Sith cloth with Sith writing. We have a little mini map of the known galaxies of where Palpatine and the Separatists started. Um, a map of the the, Jedi, the siege on the Jedi Temple. A synthetic kyber crystal. Sorry that I'm rushing this, guys. It's just that my phone doesn't have much memory and it's about to die. A talisman compass used by um, Oppressive Savage when he was looking for Maul. That's that one. Hold on while I get me other two. This one is the Bounty Hunter's Guide. We have a little cat thing on the side. Hold on a minute. I might be able to do this. There we go. Looks so futuristic. We had to duplicate Boba Fett's access card due to the simple reason was he was taken by the um, Scarlet Pit. This box has been um, safely decoded and um, removed of any explosive devices as it has just arrived. Inside we have a Camino Saber Dirt that is that he that. He used on that, bo uh, not Boba, but Django used on Zamwasel. We have the Bounty Hunters Code book. Explains different categories of bounty hunting, what you have to do, how to take jobs, who it was founded by, who the the head office was founded by, which is the guild. And by the way, this can be all found throughout the known galaxy on Holonet or Amazon. Or eBay. It explains the history of um, Mandalorians. Okay, enough of this one. We have some documentation. We have a f captain's accredited license. We have um, arms loadout permit. We have ship's registration. We even have a wanted poster for General Solo and Chewbacca. They'll be happy to see it. And a book by Kradosk. This one is the Imperial Army, or well, Imperial case. Thank God for Captain Solo's uh, previous employment with the Imperial Navy.
documentation. Okay, Imperial Handbook. According to my source, this was recovered just after the destruction of the first Death Star. That's a bit too complex to go through due to the fact and plus memory. And we also have an a, um, Imperial Signa badge, which one day should be valuable. I just hope that they decided to take the tracker out of it. Well, anyway, thank you for all um, taking the time to value my interest in Star Wars literature and collectibles. And as they say, may the Force be with you.